Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We've got another another one of our beer fun facts, definitions, something fun to know, uh, questions we get asked all the time. Um, we've done uh, some complicated ones like Plato's scale and specific gravity. This one's a little bit more fun in my opinion. This is the alcohol content. Uh, popular topic and as you know with most microbrews like what we, we uh, review on our website, they're pretty high. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's typical in, in days of old that, you know, the what I call the 3.2 beer. The macro beers were about 3%. It was pretty standard, at least in the 3% range. Um, I think it's rare to find a, a micro brew that's under 6% anymore. And they get a lot higher, as you know. So it's an interesting uh, trend with micro uh, beers. Obviously, it lends a lot more alcohol, a lot more flavor, typically. That's why it's probably why you're watching this video, because you enjoy beers like that. So... Let's talk about the alcohol content. It's actually extremely complicated. And what I mean by that is there are some really fancy formulas uh, that can be used. But essentially what it is by a, what I call a nerdy definition is alcohol content. Knowing the amount of extract in 100 grams of wort before fermentation and the number of grams of extract in 100 grams of beer at its completion. So what you're measuring is the beer that you're consuming, you're, that's what the percent of alcohol is posted, obviously, on the websites and on the bottles. It says, the amount of alcohol in grams that is formed during the fermentation process can also be determined. So, before the final product, you can measure what the alcohol content is in the wort. They're usually fairly similar. Um, I'm not a brewmaster. I'm not trying to act like one. Um, but I've been told that there, that's kind of what you're going for. You want to have very similar percent of alcohol. You don't want it to all of a sudden triple after you bottle it. Um, so, there are obviously many factors that can contribute to an alcohol content. Um, one of the ways uh, that alcohol content is expressed, as they say, so on the bottle, here again, and on the website, is ABVs. What that stands for is alcohol by volume. So, in that bottle, you've got, let's say, 12 ounces of liquid. Out of those 12 ounces, how much of that is pure alcohol? That's where you get your percent. So, if you do the math, um, you know, it might, it's obviously going to be, if it's 6%, it's less than an ounce, but it's enough of it in there that it's still 6%, which is pretty, pretty high. Um, so, like I said... Alcohol content has gotten a lot higher with micro beers, but um, that obviously lends to um, a much, in my opinion, a, a much more uh, creative and characteristic uh, beer in the process. So the formulas are extremely, extremely complicated. Um, I mean, it looks like something out of a physics book, so I'm not going to get into that. But just, just uh, as, like I said, I always try to... Um, kind of give you a, a final thought. It's measured by AB, ABVs. Um, what's also interesting about it is it can correlate very directly to the specific gravity. Um, and it's also one of those things that is one of the most common, I guess, facts of a beer that people want to know. They want to know the, the alcohol content percent before the IBUs or the specific gravity, for example, or even like what kind of hops are used. Um, it's just kind of one of those things that everybody likes to know. So it is a complicated formula. If you really want to get into it, um, I would recommend Googling it because it's not something I can explain over a video. Um, I'd need a, a chalkboard to do it, but just know it's measured in alcohol by volume. Um, with microbrews, very rarely are they under 4%, and now they're going as high as 12% which is getting very close to the con alcohol content of wine with some of the Imperials uh, that are being brewed these days. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, ABVs, that's it. Alcohol content. Thanks for watching microbeerreviews.com. See you again real soon.